Hello everyone, this is Meltem teacher speaking. I hope you are all just fine. Today, we are going to be studying about telling the time and daily routines for third graders. First of all, we will start with how we can ask the time, okay? So, we can use some questions for asking the time. These are, what time is it? So, if you don't know the time and you want to know about it, so you can use this question to ask about the time. What time is it? Second one, what is the time? Other one, can you tell me the time, please? It's important to use please in your sentences uh, if you want to ask someone a question. Do you know what time is it? Okay, so these are our questions about how we can ask the time to somebody. Now, each clock have two arrows. Look at this example. As you can see in the picture, this clock has two arrows, which we call hands. The long hand, as you see, this is the long hand, okay, shows the minutes. It always shows the minutes. And now here in this clock, it's on the 12. And the short hand shows the hours. And here in this example, it's on the four. It's called the hour end. So here in this picture, what time is it? The time is four o'clock, all right? Now, we will continue with this example. Just like I told you before, we have long hand and small hand. So we said that long hand always shows the minutes. So here we go. When the long hand is on 12, it means o'clock. When the long hand is on the one, it means five past. When the long hand is on two, it means ten past. When the long hand is on three, that means it's quarter past. When the long hand is on four, that means twenty past. When the long hand is on five, it means 25 past and another one when the long hand is on six that means it should be half past when the long hand is on the seven it means 25 two when the long hand is on eight it means 22 when the long hand is on nine, it means quarter two. And next one, when the long hand is on 10, it means 10 two. And our last one, when the long hand is on 11, it means five two. Please remember that long hand always shows the minutes. Now, we have an example here. Now, our question, what time is it? So, look at this picture really carefully, okay? And we are going to do the examples according to this clock. Here, in this picture, the time is 2 o'clock as you can see we have small hand and long hand long hand is on the 12 so it means o'clock and small hand it is pointing to two so it means hour is two okay here we go first one look at this time all right what time is it in this example it's five past two next one 
what time is it in this example it's 10 past 2 another one the time is quarter past 2 next one here it's 20 past 2 and our other example is here the time is 25 past 2 okay now we will look at some examples here okay first one remember that each clock has two arrows that we call hands small hand and long hand long hand always shows the minutes and small hand always shows the hour so first one here look at this part look at the long hand it's on 12 so it means <coughs> our time should be o'clock and small hand it's on 5 so it means it's 5 o'clock next one look at the long hand it's on the 7 so it means 25 to 1 small hand is pointing to 1 so here the time is 25 to 1 next one look at the long hand it's on 1 so it means 5 past 10 small hand is on 10 so our time is here 5 past 10 next one <clears throat> long hand is on 3 remember that I told you when the long hand is on 3 it means quarter past and small hand is on 7 so here the time is quarter past 7 next one long hand is on 10 so it means 10 to 5 the small hand is pointing to 5 next one okay long hand is on 11 so when the long hand is on 11 it means 5 to 9 small hand is pointing to 9 so here our time is 5 to 9 okay next one what time is it in this example the long hand is on 12 just like we mentioned before when the long hand is on 12 it means o'clock and the small hand is on 3 so here the time is 3 o'clock next example the long hand is on 4 so when the long hand is on 4 it means 20 past so here it's 20 past 8 as you can see in the example the small hand is on 8 next one it's 25 past 2 look at the long hand where is it as you can see it's on the 5 so it means 25 past 2 L small hand is pointing to 2 okay now we will continue with daily routine daily routine so what are they routine means regular way of doing things these are the things that we do every day in other words they are everyday activities we do these activities almost every day we do most of these activities regularly or at specific times of the week so what they might be for example you always get up in the morning you have breakfast every day you drink water every day you go to bed every day you have dinner every day since you do you 
do them every day. We call them everyday activities. <clears throat> we can use when and what time to ask about the time of an action. For example, what time do you get up in the morning? I get up at half past seven. When do you go to school? I go to school at quarter past eight. Here in this part, please be careful. We always use at before we talk about the time. We don't say I get up half past seven, okay? We always say at half past seven, at seven o'clock, at quarter past eight. Another example. What time do your lessons start? My lessons start at 9 o'clock. As you can see in the sentence, we use at before we talk about the time. When does the flight leave? It leaves at 22.10. What time does she have lunch? She has lunch at half past 1. What time do they play computer games? They play computer games at 10 o'clock. So, here, as we can understand from the examples, we can use daily routines by talking about their times. Now, I gave you examples about my daily routines. So, here we go. First one, I wake up at 7 o'clock. Look, the long hand is on 12, so it means o'clock, and small hand is on 7, so here 7 o'clock. This is the time that I wake up in the morning. Next one, I wash my face at 10 past 7. Look at this clock. As you can see, long hand is on the two okay so it means 10 past this is the time that i wash my face in the morning next one i have breakfast at half past seven this is the time that i have breakfast in the morning so every morning i have breakfast at half past seven next one I go to school at 8 o'clock. This is the time that I go to school every day. Okay, look at this example. The long hand is on 12, so that's why we say o'clock. And small hand is on 8. So it means the time here is 8 o'clock. Next one, classes start at quarter to 9. So, classes start at quarter to nine every morning, okay? I go home at two o'clock. Next one, I have lunch at half past two. So every day at half past two, I have lunch. As you can see, the long hand is on six, so it means half past, okay? I watch TV at 10 to 4. The long hand is on 10. So we say 10 to 4. Okay, small hand is on 4. I cook dinner at quarter past 6. Okay, this is the time that I cook dinner every day. I have dinner at 8 o'clock. I take a shower at 25 to 9. This is the time that I take a shower every evening. I go to bed at 20 past 10. As you can see, long hand is on 4, so it means 20 past. Now, I will talk about my friend Jack's daily routine. Look at these examples. First one, look at this clock. He does his homework at half past seven. 
as you can see the long hand is on six so it means how fast so this is the time that he does his homework every day next one eat lunch let's see that what time does he eat lunch he eats lunch at one o'clock you can see that long hand is on 12 so it means o'clock and small hand is pointing to one so time is here one o'clock next one so we will have a look at when does he play with his friends he plays with his friends at 10 to 2 look at this part long hand is on 10 so it means 10 to and small hand is on 2 so R is 2 the time is here 10 to 2 and last one when does he go swimming he goes swimming at quarter past 5 so just like I told you before when the long hand is on 3 it means quarter past so here small hand is on 5 our time is quarter past 5 so this is the time that he goes swimming thank you for listening to me take care of yourself and see you next lesson